Uh, hello. Today I'm gonna show you what we what we've got after the treatment. Um, here's the three samples. Here's a sore soil that we were processing. It's a <coughs> transmission fluid, automatic transmission fluid plus some motor oil in there. As you can see, it's a dark dark one. This one is a crude distillate. That's this is what we've got after distillation and uh, is a treated oil or diesel fuel that we're gonna use in our diesel engines it's the final one so <coughs> this one is uh, quite thick and I would say dirty plus it's got all the additives that usually in oil that they're adding to the oil to give it some certain properties we don't need it in our engines uh, our second sample is what most people who are distilling the used oil is is getting it sounds like okay sort of honey color but still contain a lot of tar and everything and you can tell it because of color it's not like tr uh, the transparent one, it's not like, like a diesel fuel, but it's thinner, it doesn't have all, the, all those additives and everything, but it still contains some uh, polymers and asphalt and probably ash, and the ash gives this uh, darkish color. And the final one, You can see the final one is the clean and transparent. If you compare it with, with oil here and here, you see the big dif difference. So it's absolutely transparent, absolutely clear. And this one is good for your engine. There's no additives, no tar, no ash, no nothing. This one is just semi-product. It needs to be treated. And after treatment you get this particular one. Because many people are asking what's your hope for? Just a filter or something. It's not just a filter. It's got a reagents inside. It's got a catalyst. So this is the final product. This is what Hopper does. This is after reformer, and this is before reformer. So it's a three different samples.